Hi, this is Olivia from the Live Chat Developer Program, and what you see in front of you is the Live Chat Developer Console. If you want to build apps with Live Chat, the Developer Console is a place where you'd spend a handful of your time. It's where you configure your applications, both private and public, and set up the most essential settings for them, like their marketplace display or the revenue you'd get from your apps. So let me take you on a quick walkthrough and explain the Developer Console tabs one by one so you can start building your first app in no time. First, we have the Apps section, which for a developer is probably the most important one. If you don't have any apps built yet, you'll see a screen just like I have now, with suggested apps you can create, but if you do have apps, they will be all listed there. You can also create new apps from this view, simply by clicking the Create New App button or by launching the App Wizard instead. And under the All Apps section, you can look up and manage apps created by other peers on your live chat license. Then, we have the Inspirations tab and the App Ideas, gathering a list of inspirations with the potential to be turned into great applications. We also have a brilliant Sample Apps feature. Those are ready-to-use projects, which you can use to build an app without needing to code anything beforehand. These will surely help you to kick off with your developer console journey if you want to get a grasp of how the app creation process feels like. Then there's the community section, where you can quickly head on to our platform updates and read the most recent announcements from the LiveChat API, learn some tech facts and also dive into the deeper topics about programming. Now we'll get on to the Tools tab, where you can find the Token Debugger and the Personal Access Tokens Creator. The Personal Access Tokens tool lets you generate a personal access token for the basic authentication requests for the LiveChat API. And if you want to read more about that, head on to the authorization section in the live chat docs. The token debugger helps you in cases you generated an access token and you are unsure if it's still valid, either if it's a personal access token or an access token generated by another authentication method. And next up, there's the revenue tab, where you can get all the details about your earnings, represented by visual charts and graphs. You can look up your revenue either by selecting a specific app or just dive into an overall report and see information from all of your applications combined. And if you like to know more about apps monetization, we also have a video on that, so just click the pop-up on the screen to check it out. And as a cherry on top, on the left you can find some handy shortcuts to the live chat app, to the documentation and to our Discord server, which I really encourage you to join. Also, you can always chat with our brilliant support team if you feel you have some troubling questions about the live chat platform. And that's pretty much all. The Developer Console is a tool designed to be simple and contain the most essential features the developers might need, topped up with some extras like the revenue reports. So thank you so much for watching and see you in our next one. Bye!